welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is abby if you're new today i'm going to be taking you through my packing list as i prepare to travel and go on vacation for a week at the beach i think i did a video like this last year maybe not i've done some sort of like vacation packing prep before but that was like built into a vlog and this is going to be more centered on like the stuff that i actually bring it might not be that long of a video but it's going to be just going in depth into what i'm bringing and numbers and how i keep all my stuff organized so without further ado let's just jump right into it so i actually have my entire packing list on my laptop here and i have it all in my notion i have a special section for notes and then i have its own page for a packing list and i just have everything on here that i would bring for a trip it looks like a lot i tend to put things in little categories and i go very detailed and sometimes i overpack but that's okay i'm just gonna show you what works for me so first off i have the skincare section of my list i have all these items that are necessary and that i can't go a day without i'm gonna be putting all of that in one of these two bags i have this bag and this bag now normally i use this one for makeup but this is my old emergency bag from school and I was thinking that it kind of looks like a makeup bag. So like maybe I should put my makeup in here and my toiletries in here. But we'll just see how that works. Next is my hair care bag. I have this really small toiletry bag and I like to put my hair care stuff in here just because of the size and how small it is. Like I can't really fit anything in here so I just like to put those things in here. I haven't really planned out my hairstyles yet so I don't know exactly what I'll need but I'm gonna throw in some clear elastics, some ponytail holders. I have a scrunchie in here so I'm just gonna leave that in there. I also might put in a claw clip if I decide that I want to wear a claw clip on the trip. I just got this bag from Walmart and it was super cheap. I just put some medium sized clear elastics some small clear elastics two bands and then two claw clips just in case one of them doesn't work or doesn't fit because i'm iffy about my claw clips but i prefer the small ones because they're a lot tighter especially with the hairstyles that i'm going to be planning on doing so i'm hoping that this will be sufficient next i'm going to pack my makeup bag and this is the stuff that i'm going to be bringing with me i have little reminders as you can see to like sharpen things if you want to know my makeup routine i posted that video a couple videos back but it's somewhere on my page you can find my makeup routine where I show all the products and everything and then following up with that I bring this tiny little jewelry bag that I got for Christmas this year it has my name on it and I put all my jewelry in here but I can't actually pack anything besides a pair of earrings because I'm bringing all this jewelry that I'm wearing and I'm going to be wearing it in the car on the way there this is just really going to be to hold it during the night when I'm asleep this is just what I write to keep track of everything it's just super easy when I have have just all basic stuff then moving on i have this travel bag now i this is actually my main bag that i usually have with me in the car that i just throw stuff in that i'll need for like easy access on a road trip this is all the stuff that i would typically have in there but now that i have my new laptop it will not fit in here so i'm gonna have to figure out where i'm gonna put that everything else still applies i love how it has all these pockets like this is the perfect size for my earbuds this can hold like money snacks my phone i also have this pocket that can hold my phone if it doesn't fit this is just nice and small and it fits a lot of stuff it even has a pocket back here and that just makes it super easy so i don't have to go digging through my main bag or like having to stop on the way to get something on my back now we're gonna jump into clothes which is more detailed i'm gonna to show you all of that and like the specific stuff that i'm bringing but this is how i just plan it out like all the things that i'm gonna bring and depending on how many days were there i usually plan to bring like that amount of shirts but when i am packing these clothes and like planning it out I include the days that I'm traveling. In my list, I included Monday when I'm going there, even though I don't have to pack that outfit, just so that I know like what I'll need to lay out and what I'll need to have clean. And then I'm gonna throw that all into this duffel bag when I'm done. I am gonna gather the clothes and then show you all the stuff that I'm bringing with me. I apologize for the lighting. It's actually terrible. I'm bringing this top that I got from Target. It's like the flowy one, if you've seen it in my other videos. This top from American Eagle. This tube top from Target. This tank top that I turned into a tube top that I think is from Walmart. This top that I got from Kohl's. This tank top from Walmart. This is part of my wear there outfit. And then this like long sleeve top because I wanted to bring one long sleeve. It's just like a yoga top. I just wanted something long sleeve. But these are the outfits. Clearly you can see a theme of like white and then like random colors. Now I have to do some laundry before I pack the rest of my shorts. 
but I'm actually, I know I said three skirts on the list, but this is the only skirt that I have that I like and that I would want to bring because I only have three skirts and I don't like the other ones. They're like plaid and fall vibes, so I don't want to bring them. I'm just going to bring this black mini skirt and then I'm just going to bring two more pairs of shorts. So I'm bringing these gray ones from Target and then these that I'm pretty sure are from Kohl's. And then because you always have to have a cute little dress moment at the beach, I'm bringing these two dresses. This is actually the one I wore for graduation and then this is my favorite dress ever. I have to bring it with me. But this actually has like a stain on it and I don't know what that is So I'm gonna wash it when I wash the pants But these are the two dresses I'm bringing one from Aeropostale one from Windsor And then I'm gonna bring this hoodie I always like to bring a sweater or a hoodie So I'm just gonna bring this one because it's Justin's and I want to bring it then I'm gonna pack this pair of pants. If I'm being honest, I didn't even know I had these like I forgot these existed I haven't worn them yet, but they're super they're super lightweight. I was going to bring a different pair of cargo pants, but since these are nice and light, I think it's going to be perfect for the beach. And especially since I haven't worn them, I can debut them on this trip. Then for PJs, I'm just bringing three big shirts, each with a pair of bike shorts. And three should be enough to get me through the seven day week because I can just wear them two nights in a row. And we also have access to a laundry machine if I want to wash them. And then I'm bringing these two bikinis. I haven't worn this one actually in the water because when I took it to Florida, I didn't go in the water, I just wore it to the beach. And then I'm wearing this one just because I, when I wore it to the pool the other day, I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually a good swimsuit, so I'm gonna bring it. It's the day before the trip and I have everything packed up. I got the last few items of clothing that I was washing and put them in my bag. Now I just wanted to cover the final thing on my list. When I go through my bag or as I'm packing other things, I'll think of stuff that I need to bring and I'll just write it down in a little section for extras. This is what I've come up with for this time around and those are just some things that I need to remember to bring and I'm just going to pack them in the space that I have left over in my bag or I'm just going to get another bag and throw it in there if I need more space. There's only a few things on that list. Those are some things that I know I'm going to be using on this trip or that I just want to have with me. But so far, this is what the bagging situation is looking like. I just have this on top of here with everything in it. And then in my main duffel bag, I have all my clothes and like my toiletry bags and all that. Here I have like underwear and socks in both of these two things. And then on this side, I haven't put it in yet. So technically I'm not all packed, but I'm going to put in my hairbrush and my perfume, but I'm going to use that to Tomorrow. I'm just gonna throw that in there then but this is everything that I can pack so far and oh not including those shoes because those go in a different bag not my bag one of my mom has this is everything that I have so far and I can't wait I'm all ready for the trip there's no better feeling than having your list basically fully checked off my bag is busting at the seams like look at that it can barely even zip and I have to have my shoes in a grocery bag tied to the side because they don't fit I have so much stuff I don't know what it is this time I also didn't use like the folding hacks from TikTok that I've used before but this is progress and I have everything I need besides like my water and my chargers but with that being said I'm all packed and all ready to leave tomorrow I have to get up at 7 so that we can leave by 8 about a five hour drive from where I live so we're gonna be in the car for a little while but it's not too bad compared to like other trips that I've been on especially compared to going to Florida so it's gonna be fine I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration on how to pack and maybe helped you if you're looking for a quick and easy packing list hopefully you have a bigger bag than I do I love you guys so much thank you for watching please like and subscribe and follow my other socials that I'm just Abby or it is just Abby if you want to see more of my life the Emerald Isle vlog will be out next week so stay tuned for that until then Bye!